How are you? Hope you're all doing well and welcome to episode 2 of the Leeds United career mode. We got off to the best start that we possibly could in the last one, beating Bristol City 4-0. We absolutely smashed them. So I'm hoping we can keep that momentum going and get some decent wins in this one as well. Now, one thing I did say in the last episode was if you could suggest anyone, and there was some great suggestions came in. We had Salisu was suggested. He's a centre-back. He looks like you have some decent potential as well. I think he would be ideal to bring in, strengthen up that back four. We had a couple of Argentinian suggestions. One of them was Cardozo. I've never used him before. I've never seen him, to tell you the truth. So, with that being said, I think I'd like to bring him in just to see what he's like, to tell you the truth. Another fantastic suggestion, because I know this lad was class in the last FIFA, was Marin. I think he'd be great for the wings. I don't think he's too expensive either. So, we'll definitely be looking to bring him in. Another one was... Bellarati, he's the other Argentinian from Borussia Dortmund. I think he would probably be a good option, but my main one would be Salisu for sure. Lastly was Rakeem Harper. He was uh, from West Bromwich Albion, another centre mid. I think he would be a nice little addition to the team as well. So we're currently scouting them at the minute, so we'll see what comes back and see if we can bring any of these in. One thing I have thought about doing, I think it's... Uh, pretty renowned in the lead supporters that they're not the biggest fans of where is he can't even find him there he is this man he hasn't got the best reputation so what i'm going to do i'm going to stick him on the transfer list see if we get any offers in and then we'll look to see if we, there's anyone else we could bring in i mean we have got quite a few strikers i'm not going to lie but we've only got silver and nketia is on loan so we could look to bring in someone else similar rated to Bamford. I know Bordeaux's there. So I'll stick him on the transfer list for now. See if we'll get any offers and we can take things from there. So looking at the games that we've got in this episode. We've got Forrest up first. Then we've got Plymouth. There's Wigan, Brentford, Stoke. And then on transfer deadline day, we've got Swansea. So it's going to be a packed episode. I'm looking forward to it. So let's get into them games. Game against Forest up first, then we're going to attend this press conference, see what they've got to say. Oh, thanks, guys. We're going to get started with the Come on, then. You've had a good run so far. It's one game in. One game. Anyway, do you have the depth in the squad to keep up the pace? Kind of. I'm always thinking positively and confident we've got the depth to challenge. There we go, then. Put the game beyond doubt the last time. Congratulations. Do you reckon that your rival, Nottingham Forest, is concerned at all? There should be. The lads performed admirably. There we go. You've been quite busy in the transfer market with no more than five players bought. Should we expect to see some players leave the club? Uh, we're building a winning team because I'll definitely be looking to sell Bamford if anything comes in. There we go then. Okay, guys, we now onto the game. So the team's going to remain unchanged in this one. It's going to be exactly the same lineup as we played against Bristol City. So hopefully we can get a similar sort of victory in this one. Oh, he's done his year. Oh, what a goal. I don't even know if I can be annoyed at that. Grab on a goal. Oh, that was... I'm ashamed I've made that joke there. Look at that though. Flicking it over him. I just like I see I just cannot be annoyed at that. Look. Fair play, son. Fair play. Nandez with the ball at the back post. Oh, De La Vega, man. Oh, the rain yet. He's brought him down. It's a penalty. Oh my god. Oh. I don't I don't believe it. Oh, Jesus. That was just shocking, that. Mistimed that so much. Well, we can see the coach doesn't think that's a yellow. Grabbing again. Oh, he's... Yeah, that's because I made that joke. He's made his pace, so the 2-0 up. Oh, come on. Well, beat 2-0. Definitely a reality check. Brought back down to earth. Didn't even get many chances. I don't think I got any chances to tell you the truth. 
Other than that, De La Vega header. But not the start I was looking for. This should be interesting to see what they ask with here, eh? How come you decided not to give Berardi another chance to start? I, we've just been beat. I don't care about that, man. I put the team first. Losing such a tight game to your rival, do you think this will impact your team's confidence? Our confidence is solid. Not by any means. The results will keep us... Will help us come back even stronger. I'm sure you'll see a difference. What? 1%? Leeds did not manage to score today and ended up losing the game. What went wrong? Um... They were the better team. Scoreline says that all Nottingham Forest were the better team. We have to prepare better for our next game. It's true. Very true. Ta-da, love. So this has come in from PSV. An offering for Bamford. It's for between... Well, it's for 4.85 mil. Does that make sense? 4.85? 4, 4,850,000. There you go. So, that could go anywhere up to six. So... I don't know whether I accept that. I think six would be decent. What I might do is negotiate with them. See if I can push them for a little bit more money. To be honest though, I'm quite happy with four. Go for someone like Bordeaux. We need some... I don't know. Made us question in Ketia in that game. Like, just did nothing. 6-1. Well, what are you thinking of 6-1, eh? 5-2. They've went up a little bit. How about 5.6? Here we go. So he's leaving. Probably getting extra, what? Three, three and a half mil in the budget. That could be ideal to bring in, like I say, a Bordeaux or something like that. Reese. Well, we're here. See if anyone else has come in. So Salisu would be between 3.4 and 4.4 mil. And after that game, and the defending... I'm not going to hesitate in this. We're going to go to buy him. No, we're not going to be doing no buyout clauses. Hello, mate. Nice to meet you. All right, I'm just going to go in with... We're going with Cheaty 3. Sell on clause. I can have 10%. I'm not going to be selling him. They've went for it. Maybe he's cut off had less. Either way, though. Looks like we're going to be bringing him in. He's going to be needed. Great. So, I've... Made him a slightly unhappy. I thought offering like 8,000 in his wages and a nice little bonus would have seen him in. But they've went, nah, you're a mug. We'll try again a little bit later. I think you can wait about a week. But <laughs> it's not going well so far, this like. Right, so another thing. West Brom don't want to sell Rakeem Harper. That's good news. Bellarati won't move because he's just recently joined. Marin, though, is between 1.2 and 1.6. I'm going to go for him. I'm going to go for the lower, lower end as well, like we did in the last one. So I'm going to see if I can be cheeky and offer a mil for him. Another sell on clause, 8%. How's that looking? They've took that. Happy with that. Hopefully we won't mess this one up. And he can come into the team. So that transfer went to plan. We didn't mess this one up. So first transfer of this episode. And it's been Marin. So I'm looking forward to him joining the team. I think he'll be good for the future. Plymouth in the cup up next. We've fully rotated the team. So it's a very weak sight to tell you the truth. Got some of the younger players in. Marin's going to be making his debut. And we've got Silva up top. So, fingers crossed they're going to be able to do the job. But, judging from that last game, you just don't know. Silva's in here. Come on, son. Here we go. At least we're scoring this one. He's looking happy about that. His first goal for Leeds. First of many, we hope. Well, just look at this. They all Little trip over. And he takes the Mistake. He used a bit of his strength. Blasts it. Bottom corner. Go on, soon. Marin. Has he got the pace? He has. Can he dink it in? Silver again. Oh, Silver. Should have been two. My God. 
Terrible. This is terrible. They should have. I don't know how they didn't score there. Silva. Could be in here. Is he in again? Is it two? It is. Come on, son. That's what I'm talking about. For sure. He's in again. Is he going to get a hat trick? Oh, nearly, son. Costa. Oh, took a deflection, but it's in. They will go 3 0. They were going 3 0. Quite happy with us. To be fair, it was Plymouth, so we should have been beating them regardless. But either way, first win of the episode. Gotta be happy with that. So there we go. Bamford. See you later, mate. He's gone. We're gonna get 4.5 mil in the budget. So that should be a decent amount to bring in. Maybe he's a new striker, someone like Bordeaux, something like that. We've got currently 11 mil to spend. So if I have a quick look at what Bordeaux was worth. So 3.8. I think he would be a spot on replacement for, uh, for I was going to say Wagner man there. For Bamford. I think he would be ideal. But with the money we've got. If we could pick up Salisu for 3 mil. And him for just under 4. I think that would be spot on. Only spending 7 mil. Decent players coming in. Did get a report back on Cardozo. He's only a 61 rated, so I don't know if he's realistically going to be the best pickup. I mean, for 370,000, he could be all right. I think he develops into an all right player, but is he going to get much game time? Only realistically looking to be in the championship for one season, and then he's not going to get a look in when it comes to the, the premiership. I don't know. I might go for someone like Wagner Mann instead. He's only going to cost 1.1. So we'll leave it for the time being. What I'm going to do, we'll play this game against Wigan. I want to see how Nketiah does. See if we realistically do need to be spending another 4 mil on a striker. But like I say, we'll see how it goes. And then we'll make a decision after this. Oh, it could be in straight away here. Oh, what a mistake. Should have been 1-0 down there. Ketia shoots. Oh, that would have been a carry goal. Oh, I see you making that run, son. Graven Birch, come on, there it is, 1-0. That's what I'm talking about. You enjoy it, son. Ketia. Ketia. Plays it in, shoots. Oh, come on, man. There we go then, we've seen that game out, 1-0. It was tough on that. Second time trying to go in for Salisu. So, fingers crossed it'll actually go ahead this time. We've got it over the line this time. 16,000 a week, so I was quite happy with that. But finally, Salisu is into the team. I'm really looking forward to seeing how he develops. And just simply because of his price, and because I said I wanted to use some new people that I haven't used before... I'm going to go for Cordozo. He's only 61, but he can maybe grow over the next season. And you never know, he might actually be fairly decent. We'll soon find out, though. There we go, then. Cordozo. He's now part of Leeds. Hopefully, he's not going to be a big mistake. Saying that, though, it was only a couple of hundred thousand. Saying that, you know, like, it's just nothing. Ah, he was only a couple of hundred thousand. As if it's like he was a tenner. But <laughs> there you go. He's in the team. And looking at this, I'm still in two minds whether to go for Bordeaux or not. I really just don't know. What I might do is... Because let's have a look. We've got... Can't even get there. We've got seven... Well, just over seven mil in the budget, nearly eight. What I might do is... I'll wait until the transfer window and then... Let us know in the comments, should we bring Bordeaux in? Or is there any other strikers that you know of that we could maybe bring in? Remember though, it's got to be under that 75 rating. We'll keep it at that. And like I say, we'll leave it so the next episode will be the transfer window closing. And if we need to bring anyone else in, we can do it there. But getting on to the rest of this episode, I'm going to play out the rest of these games. Just show you what we've got left. We've got... Brentford, Stoke, and then QPR. So we'll play them three games. 
be doing them off camera, so it'll be just the highlights realistically. And then, like I say, we'll leave the episode after QPR. And then you can let us know in regards to strikers or, to be fair, any other players. First game up, and it was against Brentford. We wanted to keep the momentum going after that game against Wigan. But they weren't going to make it easy for it. Ten minutes in, they had a nice little shot. They piled the pressure on in the beginning. Nice little save there. And I don't know how they didn't put this away. But it took up until the 65th minute. Harrison was in far too much space. He made them pay. Slotted away, bottom corner. Nice little goal for him, and that game ended 1-0. Next game up, and we're away to Stoke City. I just had a feeling that this game was going to be a tough one from the get-go. But, didn't take long. 15 minutes in, Graven Birch got into space. Nice little shot, making it 1-0. Not long after that, though, this lad Jarvis, the absolute being of my life on this afternoon in this game. Did this, and then not long after, did that. Well, 2 1 down after being 1 0 ahead. Jarvis just had one life. Stoke did have another chance, but it was a nice little save. And Ketia, all that space broke away. Should have made it 2 2, but he didn't. I was disappointed in the lad there. But Della Vega, he made the same sort of run. He was going to show Ketia how it was done. Slots it away, and that was that. Game ended 2 2. Final game of the episode, and it was in the Carabao Cup while we at QPR. This one, pretty boring to tell you the truth. Don't know how we didn't go 1 0 ahead there. Then QPR went and did this. This lad had his finesse boots on. Lovely little shot. Curled it round the keeper off the post and in. Then we went and did this. We did have a reply. I think it was Roberts there getting the goal. QPR did have a couple of chances. It was a clearance off the line there. <laughs> there was a nice little volley you could say. But did come down to a good old penalty shootout. QPR opened the account. Scored the first one. And it was down to us. Did we have a reply? Easy. Send the keeper the wrong way. It was 1-1. Then QPR. Didn't have the stones. Keeper saves it. And we had an opportunity here to go 2-1 up. Cool as ice. Slots it. Keep up the wrong way again. Quite the theme going along here. Next up, QPR right down the middle. What was the lad thinking? Then Fabio Silva had the opportunity to put the 3-1 up. Nerves of steel for such a young lad. Slots it away. And it came down to this one. Could he keep QPR in the game? Steps up. Pressure's got to him. Smashing it off the crossbar. And that means we've went through. So up there you go. Nice little end of the episode. Penalty shootout. Absolutely diabolical from QPR, that really, when you think about it. But having a quick look at the table, we're currently sitting in fifth. We've got 10 points. But looking at that, Stoke and Swansea are only on 11. And my next game is against Stoke City anyway. So we could be pushing into the top three, maybe, so I would say. But we're going to leave that episode there. Like I said, let us know in regards to striker. Just a refresher. We've got 7 mil, well nearly 8 mil to spend. Let us know how we should spend it. Next episode is going to be the transfer deadline day. It's only a couple of days away on here. So let us know. Either way though, if you like the episode, drop a like, maybe subscribe. But as always, I'll see you in the next one.